so hopefully I'm gonna meet up with some friends in Festus and we're gonna ride down to Perryville if I miss them I'll just ride down to Perryville by myself it's okay I'm not gonna stress out over it I've been wanting to make this ride all weekend so I'm gonna make it one way or the other we're gonna go down to uh, Missouri's I keep wanting to call it the Vietnam Memorial but it's not just the Vietnam Memorial although they do have an exact replica of the Vietnam Wall so but it's not just about Vietnam veterans it's about all those who lost their lives for our country and let me get through this intersection I'll tell you a little bit more about it so uh, in 1948 there was a young man that was uh, in the war let's see if I can remember his name his name was Jim Edelman Jim Edelman he, he's a veteran uh, he was in the war 1948 I believe for a year and uh, he's from Missouri and he saw firsthand what it was like for the military Vietnam veteran to come back home so most of you all that are watching this or well a lot of you all that are watching this are, are too young to remember but when when our guys came home from Vietnam they weren't welcome with a ticker tape parade they, they, uh, they were shunned they were called baby killers can you imagine going off to fight a war for your country and be willing to die for your country and many of those guys did die for our country to come home not even a thank you not even a thank you just just a shunning yeah it was during you know 60s, 68, 70s, early 70s. I remember it. I remember those years. I remember. I remember all through my high school years. Worrying about, you know, why should I graduate from high school if I'm just going to go to Vietnam and get killed? I mean, I remember that, vividly. So, when it come time for me to graduate from high school, I actually graduated, I got a diploma, contrary to popular belief. I had to take typing <laughs> to graduate, to get enough credits. Anyway. Jim Edelman, Edelman, Jim, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, Jim Edelman, when he came home, he swore that he would one day do what he could to pay back to those comrades who never made it back home from Vietnam. I don't know what 
probably just went over. I hope it wasn't a nail. We gotta make up some time. So Jim Edelman Him and his wife Charlene They donated 2.5 million dollars Towards this memorial that we're going to visit today Where, where the Vietnam Wall duplicates at not only did they donate 2.5 million dollars, they donated 4,700 acres of, of farmland. wife Charlene they did what they set out to do to honor the veteran you know a lot of people say all the time thank you for your service thank you for your service but you know what it was just 20 plus years of my life
uh, got here in time to leave with these guys. Made up a little bit of time, but uh, it's just now 10.01. So I, I was going to cut off back there. It was the fastest way to, to uh, Lowe's. But I thought if I, if I went that way, I was going to have to stop for five minutes to wait for that light. And uh, I didn't want to have to do that. So I thought if I went this way, I could see them on the highway. see any motorcycles coming down the ramp yet so I think we may have made it on time oh yeah I think there's a good crowd over there Yeah, there's a good crowd of bikes over there. I can see them from here. I'm glad we came. I'm glad we made it on time. Where's the white line here? Hope my cameras are still running. Nala, I hope you're doing okay back there. I got a half a tank of gas. That's enough to get there and I can fill up when we get down to uh, Perryville. Forgot the name of the town. So yeah, uh, I just gave 21 years of my life. A few more years civil service. My, my point there was I, I, I didn't give my life. And the people that we're honoring today gave their life. So let's try to remember what Memorial Day stands for. You know, it's not its not just a, you know, holiday weekend. It's not just a, you know, a three day or a four day weekend or whatever, you know. It's a time we set aside to honor those who gave their lives for our country. Simple as that. Thank you, partner. I missed my turn.
How y'all doing? We just made it in time, didn't we? Well, yeah, we're fixing take off too. So don't get too comfortable on getting on. All right, we're all set. We're ready to go. Yep. Oh, stop. We made it just in time. Ha! Perfect timing. I would have liked to have been there a little bit earlier so I could have greeted some people. But we'll see them down there. Oh, it's a good showing here. It's great. Thank you, brother. 